Hey guys, I am getting ready to set up a new online Facebook party for an online rap party and I utilize SendShare to help me uh, post and schedule a lot of my things ahead of time that I utilize for Facebook. You can use SendShare for Pinterest as well, but I don't do a lot on Pinterest, so I don't use it for Pinterest. This is what I utilize for Facebook to schedule um, things to my Facebook business page, uh, items to my personal Facebook profile, uh, my team pages, and Facebook events. This is awesome for Facebook events. SendShare has been around for a little while. They've just done a lot of, they've got out of the testing phase about a year, a little over a year ago, and they've done a lot of a lot of small tweaks along this last year that have made it so much more sophisticated and so incredible to use. So I'm going to show you guys how I set up. I do online parties every other week for my team. So right now I'm in Facebook, and I'm actually going to go to one of my previous online parties, this one right here. And what I will do so I can copy and most of the description and whatnot is I'm going to go over to this little dot, dot, dot here and click on copy event. My team-wide online parties are made public. I do smaller online parties that are not public, but this is going to be public. If you wanted to change it to a private event, you can do so right here. Once you make an event private, however, you cannot switch it back to public and vice versa. So consider which way you want to go and make it a public event or a private private event, but it cannot be changed once you set it. So this party, I'm going to leave the title just the same. I'm going to leave the description the same, the where the same, and I need to change the date. So today is this, so my online party is going to be next Tuesday, the 13th. And this one I will do, let's see, for now I'll just put, actually, you know what, let me do, I'll do it at 6 p.m. again, that's fine. All right. And then my parties are 45 minutes, pretty much, so I'll put an end time there. A ton of people are invited right now, so I go through, this takes a little bit of extra time when you're copying an event, but it doesn't take me too long. So I'm going to go through and delete all these people who've been invited from my friends list. Um, and this is the only downfall of copying an event. You can create an entirely new event, but this saves me, um, I just go this route, <laughs> and it's fine for me. So let me go through and delete this, and then I'll pull this into SendShare to show you all how I schedule my posts from one event to another. When Before using SendShare, I used to actually sit at my computer and copy and paste the pictures and the posts and everything else, and I couldn't run an online party unless I was sitting at my computer. So SendShare is a fabulous tool to utilize. It's not an app, but you can access a mobile version of it from the, your phone's browser and access it a very mobile friendly, mobile user friendly version from your phone's browser. So it's not a physical app, but you can access it via the web on your computer, laptop, whatnot, and a mobile friendly uh, version from your mobile device. All right, so right now I'm creating this public event. I'm clicking create, and it comes up, and it copies over the description and everything else. I'm going to add a cover photo, upload photo, and I have a Dropbox folder for my It Works stuff, virtual wrap party. All of my wrap party, my own online wrap party graphics are in one folder. This is a great way to keep everything organized and whatnot. So I'm going to pick a photo. And I'm probably going to use the same one that I've used for a while. So I need to come up with something different for fall and for the holidays coming up, but I will do that at a later time. Click Save Changes. And so right now my event is open, it's public and whatnot, and I am ready to go over to SendShare. So the event is, once you create the event in Facebook, then you go over to SendShare. When you log into SendShare, it kind of looks a little bit like this. Obviously mine will look a little different from yours. And then you're gonna click over here on this icon here that says My Networks. Once you click on this, after having created the event within Facebook, you want to click on this Refresh button. It's going to take a few moments, depending on how many um, events and albums and groups and all that stuff that you have, but it shouldn't take too long. Once it refreshes, it'll add anything new that you've created um, between the last time you refreshed and now. So because I created this from my timeline, I'm going to click here on my Hong Forest. 
I'm going to scroll down to my October 13th event here, and right now my little heart icon on the right here is not black yet, meaning that I haven't selected to post to it yet. So I'm going to click on it. It's now black, which means that now I can schedule since share from within it. So that's for my timeline, and you can see here the groups, the various groups that I'm in. Um, those that are in black, I can post, can schedule from within SendShare to it. So if you are admin to any other groups on Facebook, this is a great way to do it. And with your Facebook pages that you manage as well, it's another great way to do it. So now that you've done that, go back to your dashboard, your scheduling dashboard here, and you can see that it will now be posted down here under your timeline, see October 13th. But what I do, because I've already done previous parties, is I'm going to go to my post history. And then up here, I'm going to start typing in the name of my last party. And look here, it says 929 Fall in Love with the Results Party. And I'm going to click that. And it's going to show me all the posts that I scheduled into that party. So let me sort by oldest because I don't see all my posts. Oh, here we go. Up here on the right-hand side, you can sort your post by the oldest or you can sort by most recent. Because it didn't show me all of my posts and I knew that I had other posts, I did sort by oldest and here are my posts in the order that I post to my party. So I'm going to click this little um, button. I don't know, the repost button. Yes, the repost button because this is the first post that I put in all my parties. I'm going to click on repost. It's going to take me to the post scheduler section. And this is the same text. This is the same image, and I'm going to put this image in there today because I'm going to start uh, sharing this event with my team members so that they can start uh, inviting people. So I'll put that in there. When you click on the day, uh, the time will stay the same as whatever the time is right now, so make sure you click the time that you want this to post, and I'll post this for noon today, p.m. Uh, you, when you do your settings, it'll ask you to default your time zone, but let's say you're traveling, you're in a different time zone, you can always select which time zone you want to post uh, based on where you are as well, if that was need be. I don't do anything with post category. Go down to your time, to the groups and the events here. Click on wherever your event is. Select that event, and then schedule your post. And it's going to show up over here. There we go. It's going to show up over here on the right-hand side. And then when you're scheduling from history, it always asks if you want to return to your history page. So I'm going to return to my history page. I'm going to click yes. And what I'm going to do is I am going to go through and schedule all of these. Um, this one I'll change a little bit because it's no longer a pre-order opportunity. But this is what I will do. I'll go back and fix this. I want to miss out on this new product opportunity as well, call it. Okay, so I'll delete some of the pre-order verbiage, and now I'll leave it at that. So I'll have this post run at 6 p.m. tonight. Again, I'm going to select that party, and I usually post once or twice a day or have posts scheduled once or twice a day to my event leading up until the actual party itself. That way it stays fresh, people are reminded because they get notifications and whatnot. So I'll just continue going back to my history page until everything is scheduled. And what's lovely about this is that things will post automatically to my Facebook event and I don't have to think about it. It's a great way to streamline time efficiency and whatnot in the business. And what I love about SendShare is that I can can be anywhere and run my party. Um, usually these Tuesday night events, I'm running the party from football practice, uh, from my child's football practice. And I can, the posts are scheduled, and all I have to do is monitor comments and whatnot and interact in the party. So that's a little bit more about how to utilize SimShare and set it up for online parties, uh, scheduling to events and whatnot. And when you schedule a fresh post, let's say, if you don't have an old post to go from, you can just, here's a trick that I love um, with send shares, that you can go to anybody's picture. For example, if you were to click on this picture, you can right click it, copy the image location, go back to send share in this photo URL section, paste that URL that you just copied, and you have that image, and you can write whatever text that you want with it, and post that without having 
to ever download and save this image to your computer. Uh, how nice is that? That way you don't have like a thousand images just floating on your desktop. I love this feature because that way I'm not clogging up my desktop with images. I'm like, oh, I want to use that image. Oh, I want to use that image. So th that is a great feature with SimShare as well. Uh, another brief one that I'll show you really quickly is if you go to anyone's timeline, their business page, as long as it's a public post and you can tell with the little globe icon here, as long as it's a public post, you can click on the image, go up to the URL part of your browser, copy that entire URL, and let me, here, let me delete this, pretend there's nothing here and nothing here. You can go to this where it says paste a link or Facebook URL, and you can import if it's from Facebook, and it not only copies the image, it copies all the text that that person um, included with their image. I love this for sharing before and after pictures. Instead of copying and pasting over, I can just grab that URL for the entire post, as long as it's a public post, put it here, click on import, and it pulls not only the image, but all of that text and copy with it. Another great time saver. So those are two little tricks that I love within SimShare. Um, so that's all that I have. I'm going to go through and finish scheduling those posts right now so that I don't forget. And I hope that's helpful, y'all. Thank <laughs> you.